my name is Corey. I'm the owner of Core Eats, and this is my really good friend Galzat. She is an amazing chef, and we are going to show you today how to make Reuben sandwiches using Core Eats mixes, our Core Eats bread mix. We're gonna teach you how to make it into our version of rye bread, which is actually going to be a caraway bread, but it tastes like rye bread, and it's amazing, so you're in for a treat. Um, Galzat, I'm gonna let you a little bit more about your background and what you do and how our paths crossed yes <clears throat> i love that we're finally doing this because your mixes are my favorite uh, over the years working as a personal chef i learned that certain gluten-free stuff are not even healthy for us so i decided to just making my own and it takes so much time to find all the ingredients, find the right recipes that actually works. And uh, I work with a personal chef with a family who has food allergies. So on top of the making food, I have to come up with like bread ideas or dessert ideas. That was always struggle to me when I discovered your mixes, it was like magic happened and I don't have to worry about it. All the ing ingredients are clean and like wholesome and uh, sugar-free some of them if you want to and i love 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 your mixes thank you so what she's not telling you is how amazing she is and the talent that she has my girls get so excited when girls that comes over because they want to know what she's bringing and she doesn't think that she's a baker but she is my girls go crazy and they want to know what cakes what pies what fun desserts that she's made and we've actually had Golda in her own home and she's made dishes for us that were dairy free gluten free sugar free and it's just been such a delight so i'm super excited to work with her and bring you these videos we're going to try to put one out once a month just showing you different ways you can use core eats and even meals that have nothing to do with Core Eats, just you know, giving you a grocery list of things to buy, quick and easy meals, how to make them yummy and delicious, but also healthy. So yeah. enjoy. Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with our bread. We're gonna make the Core Eats caraway slash rye bread. Um, before we jump into that, I wanna talk a little bit about preparing your pan because this is something we get questions on. Um, Basically, we're just going to spray this. We're going to spray our 8x4 pan with oil. I have avocado oil in here. You can use whatever oil you like to use. You spray it in here, which I can do real quick. Okay. Once it's sprayed, we're just going to lay a piece of parchment paper in here. And this is going to make this is going to make your traditional uh, loaf of bread that's going to give you nice, uh, cute square slices of bread. Okay, so that's your option for your traditional bread. Yeah, I really like this trick because it will be easier to take it out when it's ready. Yeah, yes. so when it's done, you just pick your loaf out. Now, I do want to put a disclaimer in here. This pan is made by USA Pan, and they're phenomenal. You can buy these on our website. It's a USA-based company. They are right down the road from Core Eats headquarters and you technically don't need to use parchment paper or oil with these pans as long as you follow the manufacturer's uh, care instructions. Yes. But today, we're not gonna use this pan. Yes, we're gonna use beautiful watch cast iron so it will be more artisan open bread. Yeah, so we're gonna go for a different style today and we're gonna walk you through that process. Right now, I have my oven warming up at 350 and when you're using cast iron pan, you want your pan to be seasoned really well. So you want your pan hot and oiled before you put your mix in it, or you want to line it with parchment paper if you're not gonna preheat it. I'm choosing to preheat mine. So it's in the oven right now while the oven's warming up. I'll pull it out and show you. All right, so here's our pan. It's super, super hot. I'm getting ready to use it, so I'm going to go ahead and now that it's hot, I'm going to spray it with oil and I'm just going to stick it back in the oven while we make our bread mix and when we're done with our bread, we're going to pour it in here and let it bake. Let's get started. Yep. You ready to do this? Yes. Here, I'll give you the honors. The fun part. We're starting with eggs or dry ingredients. 
dry I so the thing about parades, you can mix all of your white ingredients together and blend them and then pour them over your white ingredients. I just dump and go. So let's just dump today. We're going to start with our dry ingredients, which is our bread mix. Yes, and we have all the instructions on the back. It's very easy. But today we have a little twist. So we can do the caraway seeds. And then once the caraway seeds are in there, we're just going to kind of mix them in. So we have oil. We have salt. And apple cider vinegar. And we will tell you all the brands we're using because not all apple cider vinegars are the same. And uh, so this one is the best. And we'll let you know which one. This is a vegan or regular so sour cream? So this is regular sour cream, but you can use <coughs> vegan. I tend to use vegan. My favorite brands are uh, Kite Hill. Kite Hill makes a wonderful sour cream. Um, Mayoko's makes a really great sour cream. Um, th there's Chow. There is uh, Daya cheese. Um, but this is regular sour cream that we're going to put in here. And as far as the oil goes, uh, you can use whatever oil you want. We use the olive oil, but you can melt butter, you can melt vegan butter. Um, you can use whatever you have on hand. Um, this is milk. We use an almond milk today, but you can use any milk you like. Um, so this is the... Yep, and then we All the Americans will be on our website, so you don't have to worry about right now to write anything down. So, So now we're going to make our Thousand Island dressing. It's super easy to make. Um, if you've tried to read labels at the grocery stores, you've probably been just as frustrated as I have been because it is impossible to find a Thousand Island dressing that doesn't have 50 ingredients in them. So we're going to show you a really quick and tasty and fresh way to make Thousand Island dressing with just one, two, three, four, five, six seven ingredients and really you don't even need all of these ingredients some of them are just for extra flavor like hot sauce so let's get started go with that yes. take over we'll start with the mayo so it's a primal kitchen mayo <clears throat> and we love this mayo because it has a few ingredients and it's based uh, like at the base of it it's avocado oil and it's like very healthy oil so if you watch it what Oils you eat. This is one of the best made on the market. Ketchup, same brand, Primal Kitchen, just because it doesn't have any sugar. So there is relish and a little bit the pickle juice. It's for like tangy flavor and for texture. And if you don't have uh, pickle juice, you can use apple cider vinegar. And again, you can just follow our recipe on the website. Super easy. Yes. And we want to add a little paprika for the smokiness. Love paprika. And here we have minced the onion. And onion can be a substitute for the dry onion if you have like a party and you don't want an onion smell. So uh, onions make you cry? Yes. You can use dry like onion powder or minced onion. Yes. And in some cases I actually prefer like a dry onion just because it's just faster. And this, we just want a more flavor, more texture, and uh, fresh onion always gets dry. Especially in a dressing, because I don't think you want a crunch in a dressing. I think fresh onion in a dressing gives you a, a creamier, more pleasant texture. Yeah, and salt and pepper. It's it, mix well, and uh, you can keep in the refrigerator up to a week in an airtight air container. And uh, it will be like the taste will be better even tomorrow. And so this is a great make ahead. You this bread that we're gonna make that we just put in the oven, make that a day ahead because the caraway seed and the bread will continue to develop, 
and uh, the flavors will become stronger and it will actually taste better the second day. The same is true with the Thousand Island dressing. If you want to make these ahead so that you can throw something together super quick and easy or you want it for the week and it's on the menu, make them ahead. Yes. So now we're ready to build our sandwiches. We have our corned beef, we have baby Swiss, and as an alternative, we have vegan provolone made by BioLife. We have some garnish because it's pretty and we like pretty food. We have some butter to brown our bread in, and we have sauerkraut. We have our sauerkraut sitting in a little like a mesh so that it drains. You can use a colander, and if you don't want to wait for it to drain, just kind of smash it down and get rid of the excess water so that you don't have a soggy sandwich. And we add in sauerkraut that doesn't have any vinegar because it's a fermented vegetable, and you want some extra probiotics for our guts that help to digest all the meats and the cheese in a beautiful sandwich. Okay, so we're just melting our butter and we're gonna brown each side of our sandwiches before we start building our sandwiches. You ready? This is the moment of truth. Look how amazing they look. Oh my gosh, so, so good. Yes. So, do you want to tell them what we did? We put a little bit of sea salt on them. Yes, and just uh, beautiful sea salt that's not flaky and caraway seeds and uh, garnish with parsley. This so pretty. Are you ready to hear the crunch? All right, here we go, moment of truth. all that we just completed our first cooking video that was out of body experience for me <laughs> I love every minute of it and <laughs> because I believe in product I trust the ingredients and fresh ingredients wholesome it was Delicious. yummy and yeah. by Tommy <laughs> <laughs> we should do it again yeah. I think we should do it again yeah so if you want more information on this recipe, you can go to coreeatsmixes.com and the full details will be there. Let us know what you think and enjoy.